Welcome to MyBinding.com. This is the Royal Sovereign RSH 1151 and the RSH 1651 roll in. First I'm going to go over some of the features of the two machines. The only real difference between the two is the size, which is 45 inches and 65 inches. You can adjust the rollers to use mounting boards up to 5 eighths of an inch thick. There are emergency stops on both the front and the back of the machine. Twist the knob to continue laminating again. There are three different ways to start, stop, and reverse the laminator. A mouse pad attached to the back, the main panel, and a foot pedal. On the front panel, you can change the individual temperatures of each roller separately, switch it from hot or cold, save different variations in your settings, and turn on the back fan to help prevent your project from becoming wavy or bowing. On the back, there's also a straight blade trimmer to remove the project from the laminator. Okay, now for setup. Turn the rollers on so they begin heating up to an appropriate temperature. I'll start in the back. If you have a roll already on that needs replaced, remove it from the laminator. Be sure to cut the lamination first. Now slip the roll off the bar. And insert the bar into your new roll. Place the bar into the left side first, then insert it into position on the right. The outside of the film should drape over the machine as seen here. If it's shiny, then the shiny side should be out. Do the same thing for the bottom roll. Again, shiny side facing away from the machine when draped. This is important when inserting it into the rollers. Now lift the safety shield and remove the extra handguard. Lift up and pull out the table piece. On the bottom roller, pull the film out about 2 feet, then feed it under the bottom bar, located directly under the bottom heat roller. Pull it up and over the bar, carefully as to not touch the heating roller. On the back, pull about 2 feet of film, and bring it over the metal bar and rest it on top of the heat rollers. At this point, you can see that my two rollers do not align. To help with this, the bars have lines on them so you can place the rolls in the same position. You can also measure out the distance on each so they match. Now drip the bottom film over the top so they stick together. You can see that my rolls are still not aligned perfectly, to which I can still adjust later if needed. Place the table back on and the handguard. Then lower the safety shield. To feed the film through, adjust the opening for the correct size of any scrap board you have. Then push the board into the rollers while they're on until they grab the board and feed it through. Make sure you use a thick board like foam core. The one I used here was not thick enough and I missed the back rollers. Then I had to grab it and pull it through and it was not fun. So don't make that mistake. Let the lamination run a bit to get all the wrinkles out. Now I can adjust the edge guides on my table and start laminating some pretty big projects. And go around back, wait for it to finish, then cut it off to trim up nicely with another trimmer. As a last note, make sure to turn your rollers on before you insert your project. Otherwise you might end up with some extra creases closer to the edge of your project than you want. If your projects are wrinkled, wavy, or your rollers won't start, here are a few troubleshooting tips. Also, our customer service is always ready to walk you through steps to figure out any problems.